Infection of the pulp spaces is quite common and it can be serious uh, because what happens is that uh, once um, the infection is introduced into the pulp space, uh, for example through a pin prick, now once the bacteria is introduced into the pulp space, um, the inflammatory exudate which uh, then results leads to a, a very quick increase in pressure within these tiny compartments which are formed by the various septa. So, uh, the infection becomes uh, quite painful, quite rapidly. And if this infection is left untreated, uh, it can uh, lead to the infection of the terminal failings. Now, a prolonged increased pressure, what happens is that the blood supply to uh, the diaphesis of uh, the distal failings um, passes, in children, it passes through the pulp space. So, if the increase in pressure is quite prolonged, it will lead to um, in, uh, infarction of this um, uh, diaphesis of the uh, terminal phalanx. Uh, but the epiphysis is spared because the blood supply to the epiphysis is through uh, uh, another uh, branch uh, which does not pass through the pulp space. So, as you can see, uh, this is the blood supply to uh, this part of the finger and the epiphysis here is spared in case of a prolonged infection of the pulp space but the diaphysis is supplied by this branch uh, of the digital artery and uh, compression of that would then lead to um, necrosis of the distal part of the diaphysis of the uh, terminal fillings.